Okay, so a little update on this board. This board was going to be cut up for parts, and I said, no, don't cut it up, send it to me, and I'll see what I'm getting. So originally, I wanted a socket for Agnes, because the socket on the other one's missing a pin about here, half of it, and I don't know why, I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. But anyway, I uh, got this. This socket was rotten. Well, the battery has gone all the way through, like I showed you on the board. I thought, I'll, I'll have a go at it. Um, Resocketed that. Resocketed that and changed it. These are all new, just to check. Resocketed all of them in the end, out of frustration. Um, and I haven't done any of the caps or anything. Um, <clears throat> and uh, replaced all of these resistors and capacitors here. Had to bridge that capacitor onto what's left of that trace there. Had to patch up some of these traces here, going down to here. They look terrible, but they're all right. Onto here, with these, what it was, what got me in the end, these silly little dots. Some of them are actually through hole connectors, um, and and what had happened was that the battery had leaked. And see where I've put that wire. This was the last bit in the jigsaw. Actually, I won't keep doing that. Where I put this wire. The light's gone out now. Where I put this wire. There's a tiny look, this is R113, and thanks to Gadget UK, he said, look, I was turning my head, he said, look, get hold of the schematics, trace it between Gary and the memory, Gary and the CPU, and I, I started out, I thought, well, let's start with the damages, because it's a nightmare otherwise, so I started the really simple ones, you know, going from here to these bits, and then there's supposed to be pin 4 here, and Gary goes to the first pin on U12, which is the memory, like the data goes through these chips, and I couldn't get it and it goes to here and it wouldn't go from here to here so I followed it along sorry this one followed it along see if I can get I don't know why the fucking night's gone out but anyway followed it along and basically where that disappears it actually goes through the board and out the other end and it, it's supposed to bridge onto the first pin here and it was just relying on that solder like a blob of solder going through the board to, to link it and obviously the battery had leaked, sat in that hole, eating it to death and gone all the way through. So that was the last bit in the jigsaw. Um, yeah, I looked at this, I don't know if this... Oh dear. I don't know if this diodes. Um, I'll have a look at that later, but it's not affecting it. So anyway, it works. It works. And uh, that's another board. I've got loads now. That board was going to be cut up, like I say, so rescued. And I bet, I just checked it, but I bet, this was originally just bought for the socket because it was so cheap. But I bet that's what's happened to the other board. And I'm just going to see whether this, it's missing like half a pin here on the socket. See whether that is anything to do with it. So the original Agnes chip was fine, all the chips are fine. Uh, I haven't swapped back the originals of these. So I don't know. Oh yeah, this was a mess underneath. I showed you how to cut that off. Um, but yeah short video if you get if you get blue screen black and then it goes blah, 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 uh, no signal it's well worth checking that trace and it goes I'm trying to see it goes up to R113 down through the board and it ends up on pin 1 of U12 and it ends up on pin uh, 4 on Gary and it goes through R113 so just watch out for that hope you're all well and I'll see you soon this is going to be part of a proper Done a, I'm doing a video on how I'd actually did all this, but that I just thought, oh god, that you know that got me um, for ages. So yeah, worth knowing. See you all later. Cheers, bye. Bye.